What is it? It had better be... Good. What you think something like that costs? My soul, probably? Since I'd pay that? Coming up on Crossfire Collectibles, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, and Michelangelo. Four inch action figures from Joy Toy. Stick around. What's up, and welcome to Crossfire Collectibles. Today's video, we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, and Michelangelo, the four inch figure set from Joy Toy. So these finally came in. I had them pre-ordered a while back and they have shown up. We got the set of all four. Um, we do have a couple other ones, you know, coming later down the line, but I wanted to get the main turtles out first. And these boxes are a little large. So I'll go ahead and show them off one by one. They are all wrapped in plastic, but you can see a side, this is Leonardo. He's got a skateboard, uh, two different pairs of katanas, one with some slash effects in it. Pretty cool. There's the box, you have Leonardo at the bottom. TMNT Leonardo. Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Joy Toy. Leonardo on the side. You have that nice artist render. Around to the back, they're showing some poses for him. Pretty cool. Off to this side, some warning crap. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles at the top and bottom. So that's for him. Next up is Raphael. There's the figure. He also has a skateboard. Two different pairs of size. Of course, one pair with some slashing effects. Artist runner off to the side. Some promotional poses here. You have the Nickelodeon hologram down here on the box. Warning crap, TMNT, TMNT, like the other. Third, here's Donatello. Here's the figure, his bow staff, skateboard, and a bow with some swirling, swinging effects. So really cool. There's his artist render. Promotional shots on the back. Really, really cool. And then finally, here's Michelangelo. You see the figure right there, as well as a skateboard, two pairs of nunchucks, and then you have the swirling effects up here at the top. Um, each figure does come with a stand as well that's hidden behind this little uh, picture here at the bottom of the front of the cover. Off to the side, artist render for Michelangelo. Some promo shots, warnings, TMNT, TMNT. So there they are. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and pop these open. But first, please subscribe to the channel. So we got four turtles here. We're gonna go ahead and open them each one by one. So bear with us. We'll take everything out, set them up one by one with all their stuff and we'll go over everything. All right, so first up, we're gonna go with my boy, my favorite turtle, Raph. So I went ahead and taken him out already, gave him an extra hand, threw him up on the skateboard, gave him his size and his belt. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and bring over his accessories. So you can see here, he's got three extra pairs of hands, plus the ones he comes with to give him four sets of hands total. Uh, you can see he's got extra pairs of size in here. He's got his little base stand with a sewer manhole on it. Each of the turtles comes with a piece so you can put all four together and you have this nice little street platform with a manhole on it. They each also come with a comm link and a slice of pizza. Uh, there is some extra weapons in here as well. And they are some slashing effect size. So you can see they gave those nice little effects onto the ends of them. So, you know, pretty cool. Give you guys a shot of that base stand a little better. Lots of nice detail in here. You can see the two-tone almost airbrushed on there. It's got some dirt on top of the gravel, nice cracking. There's your manhole cover surrounded by some bricks, a single peg, and there are some hooks here to attach each base to each other to make one giant platform, which we'll also show you at the end. Uh, from what I'm seeing also, it looks like each of the slices of pizza are different. So here is Raph's. 
You can see two pepperonis and it's got some openings in the center of it. Nice drippy cheese. It almost kind of has a green hue as opposed to a yellow hue. And then you have this little turtle con link here. So just a little shell. If you're familiar with the Ninja Turtles, they had this extra shell that they would slide open and it's a little con link. So pretty cool, lots of nice detail on it. Uh, one of the turtles will end up using this. I'm not sure who yet, but for now, we're gonna put that away. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the extra pair of hands. So the turtles come with fist hands. Each of them have clinched fist hands that are already on them. As you can see right here, you got the two fingers and the thumb. So I've already taken off his right hand and gave him that more extended hand that's out. Uh, so here is the right open hand. Then they have a pair of grip hands, and this is Raphael's side hands. You can pretty much pop that side right up in the center. Let me go ahead and slide one of these out, and we'll do something like this. So he was infamous for kind of holding his size up in his hands, you know, with the blades coming up right through the middle of the fingers, and then there's two pieces off to the side. Now, these are quite thick and not that flexible, but if we stretch it out, pop that cyan, it's a little closer to what we want it. So something like that, and that looks cool. So I probably will end up taking that extra of a fist hand off and throwing this on, but we're gonna put it to the side for now. And I will show you the last pair of hands they have. And here is a more smaller grip hand. So not totally open and spread between the knuckles, uh, something like that. So each of the turtles come with all those hands. And then they also have an extra Ninja Turtle stand right here. So if you want to display them separately instead of all together, you have this nice little single peg turtle stand. So very cool, very nostalgic as well. So there we go. We go ahead and swap out the hand and we can throw that side hand on there. And that looks pretty awesome. So uh, we're gonna leave Raph on his skateboard for now. Give you a shot of all around him. You can see he's got this nice spiked plate on the back of his shell. He's got the red elbow and knee pads, the red mask on his face. He's got that sash running across right here with a couple of throwing daggers in it. You got the R on the belt, wrapped feet or ankles, I guess you could say, and wrapped wrist up here. Very cool. Since I kind of already have him in pose, we're not gonna go ahead and show off his articulation. We'll wait till the end with one of the other figures, but all of them are pretty much the same way articulated. So very cool. Next up, we have Donatello here. So he looks freaking awesome. That's all I can say. I love the belt with the two pouches on it. He has the sash as well, as well as another strap coming around that goes into this little pouch here. So this would be his little med pouch. You can see he's got a little first aid star on there. So Donnie came with a wrench that I went ahead and tossed in the side of that pouch right here. I put his bow staff on his back in the little two holster type sheath he has right there. I gave him a slice of pizza, so he's enjoying it. You can see his is different, three pepperonis, no holes through the cheese. And he's got a different style mask piece up here, the two bands that are hanging off the back. I went ahead and put him on the manhole stand so you can see it like that. It looks pretty awesome. Now, if we were to bring in rafts, you could connect it. So you would have half of the base right there. And then take it back off. We'll set Donnie down, show you his accessories. All right, so Donatello comes with a comm link as well. Same that we saw with Raf. We'll put that aside because I may end up giving it to him. Here's the extra hands for Donatello, same that we saw with Raf. He's also got a skateboard. So we didn't show off Raf's too well, but we'll look at Donatello's. You can see all black. You have some metallic silver over where the screws are, a single peg, purple wheels. Look at the bottom of the deck. It's got that tan color, and it even has a little engine in the back of it in a metallic silver. So pretty cool. The wheels can spin, and pretty nice. Donatello also comes with a single Ninja Turtle stand. And he also has the bow staff with some effects on it. So he could be spinning it, you know, pretty cool. You can see he's got the purple wrapping around the grip right there. So really nice. Now, moving on, we're going to go ahead and go with Michelangelo. So here he is in the packaging with all his goodies. We'll go ahead and kind of lean this back. 
and we'll bring out the accessories one by one for you to actually look at, you know, in real time. So he comes with a pair of nunchucks. So here they are. You have that kind of orangish wrapping around here. Metallic silver on the butt and base coming into a chain that has that flexible plastic up here. So you can pretty much move it around any way you want. He's got two of those. His skateboard, same as the others, just with more orangish wheels. And here is Michelangelo's manhole stand. I think all of them are pretty much identical. So if we were to show you rafts, you can see it's the same thing. So they all just kind of form, you know, just like that. So kind of almost looks like a throwing star, which is pretty neat. Extra pairs of hands in here as well. He's got a slice of pizza up here that has a bite taken out of it. He's got his comm link. And then he's also got some nunchuck effects up here. So you can see he's actually twirling these. He's got two of them. So if we were to bring them out, we can put one in each hand. So he's spinning them off to the sides, you know, doing whatever. I'm not sure how we're going to set him up yet, but we'll figure it out. So now I'm going to go ahead and bring Mikey in right here. So get you a shot of his face. He's got that big old cheesy grin. He's also got the sash bandolier going across with a little recording device on it. M on the belt, some pouches on each side, around to the back. He's got a license plate and a chain hanging from it, so you could probably hang some stuff from there. That's where I'm gonna guess uh, if you wanted to put his nunchucks on him, you could probably just hang them right inside like that. That kind of looks bad, but uh, we'll figure something out for him. Maybe he's gonna have them stored like this. I'm not quite sure yet, but if you wanna give him a nice look over, We'll go ahead and check out his articulation. So all the turtles have the same articulation. So there's no really need to go over all four of them. But I'll show you the hinge allow the arms to go out that far. And they can rotate a full 360. You have the hinge at the elbow. And then a ball joint down at the wrist. So you can swap them hands out. And the hands can do a full 360. They can angle in, out, down, and up. That's pretty much it for the arms up at the head also on a ball joint can rotate full 360 he can look down up and side to side however you want now at the torso there is a ball joint inside at the mid torso so you can allow him to swivel left and right uh, kind of tilt a little bit back and forth and angle forward and backward uh, a little help down at the waist as well that second joint in there will allow the waist swivel and a little more range of motion moving them all around. Belt is not attached fully, so you can slide it up and down, left or right. Down at the legs, he's got ball joint up at the hip. Uh, a little difficult with these pouches, but the legs can go out about that far. They can come back about that far. So we lift this arm. You can put the leg out about that far. There is some thigh swivel. There is double jointed knees. So looking at his knee pads, they're actually part of his knee. So you can't really move them around like you can with his elbow pads. Uh, we didn't discuss them, so we'll explain them. They are not attached. So in order to get them positioned just right, you gotta kind of angle them when you have them in his pose and it'll look pretty good. But knee pads, they don't go anywhere. They just help with that double jointed hinge inside. And then down at the ankles, there's a hinge to allow the feet to go that far forward, that far up, and there's a side-to-side -side pivot. Holes at the bottom of each foot, so you can put them on either stand or the skateboard, whichever you prefer. And uh, what are we gonna do with his hands? We're gonna go ahead and give this one the effects. So we'll go ahead and have him swing in his nunchucks. So we will pop off one hand. You can see there's the ball joint on the wrist. There's the socket inside the hand right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and bring in a pair of grip hands here. So we'll go ahead with the right grip and pop this one on. So there's one. And we'll come over to the left arm, pop that one off and snap this hand in. All right, there we go. So we can get the other hands out of here and then we can bring in his effect swinging nunchuck here. 
slap that in. And there we go. We have Mikey swinging his nunchucks around. Pretty cool. I like that. It looks pretty nice. Uh, and we'll go ahead and uh, slide a pair of these up in this chain on the back. So we'll have a third pair. And then we'll go ahead and set him back to the side right here. And then we'll get ready for Leo. All right, so here is Leonardo. I went ahead and swapped his hands out already. Uh, we got a few of the accessories out, but I'll go ahead and bring this in so you can see he's also got a turtle stand. The three extra pairs of hands, the con link, and I will show you his slice of pizza. This one has three pepperonis and a bit of a droopy tip. He also has a piece of manhole stand right here. His skateboard, same as the others, but with blue wheels. He has his two katanas here. Kind of a uh, kind of a wide blade, it looks like. And down here, he's got that hand guard that is almost a yellow, as well as the butt of the sword, and then the blue wrapping on the grip itself. So got a pair of those. They look pretty nice. And then he also has a pair of slashing effect katanas here. You know, very cool. So, looking him over, he's got the single strap bandolier as well. You can see his mask bangles hanging off the back like that. Around on the back of his shell, he's got two pocket sheaths for his swords. They look like they're almost like bolted into a shell. You can see he's got some thigh guards. Looks like they're made out of wood, probably a piece of crate or something like that. L on the belt. They have a lot of nice detail in here. You can see the airbrush in the cracks and everything. So it looks really good. Definitely around the muscle definition. And even in the muscles, there's some veins that are showing. So really, really cool. Uh, I had to test the shell. I wanted to see if it come off, but no, it doesn't, thankfully. But um, we'll go ahead and show you the swords in his little pocket sheaths on the back. So these are really tight. So we're gonna attempt to slide one in to show you all how they look. Now, very, very tight fit. They will go in, but as I did that, I can see it gave it a little scratch. Now, I think it just took some paint off of the insides of these pocket sheets because it's actually a little bit of brown that came off. So I'm not too worried about it. I think it's fine. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and give him a sword in his left hand. So I wanna go ahead and try to bend these fingers some and we'll slide that sword into his left hand like this. And we're gonna leave this one kind of angled down like he's just kind of holding it. And uh, I know I said I was probably gonna give Donatello the comm link, but I think I'm gonna give it to Leo. Go ahead and just bring Donnie's over for the time being and slap that up into his hand like that. So he can be talking to the turtles like, come on guys, like we gotta like totally fucking go kick Shredder's ass or something. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And we'll set him down right here. All right, so we went ahead and got the boxes out of there for you, put all the turtles together, and here you go. So we didn't use any of the regular turtle stands. I may do that later on, but they stand pretty well on their own. We don't really need any stands for it, but I do want to put the four pieces together to show you the actual full base stand. So we'll go ahead and get everybody out of here. So we snapped them all together, and that is your fully put together manhole cover base stand. That does look like a throw star. So again, you could put one on each corner. So if we had Donnie right here like that. Leo right here. Put Mikey on the side. Well, he's spinning the nunchucks, but we'll make it work. Put him on the back right there. And we're not going to peg Raph on it because he's on a skateboard. Just have him in the back like that. And that's a nice little set right there. It looks pretty good. But all right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and give these guys a final pose. And we'll toss them up onto the turntable and give you some final thoughts. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles will return after these messages. Be sure to check out our previous videos. A link will always be pinned in the comments. We now return to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. All right, so here you have it, the Joy Toy, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, four-figure set, 
Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, and Michelangelo. Oh man, these figures look amazing. It's taken so long for them to release the Ninja Turtles in 4-inch scale. And I am just simply blown away. These figures look great, highly articulated, highly detailed, amazing amount of accessories with each, and I couldn't be happier. This is a one-of-a-kind thing that has not been released before, and I gotta say, kudos to Joy Toy. These figures are amazing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get some more. I already did pre-order April. Uh, I've been debating on any of the villains. You know, they got Shredder, Bebop, Rocksteady, the Foot Soldiers, as well as Splinter. Uh, I'm not gonna go all out. I'm gonna get a few and add them just up on the shelf to fit in with my more modern line GI Joes. I am a sucker for 118 scale, and these figures will absolutely totally fit in with my collection, and damn, they look great. I gotta say, I can't pick a favorite. They all look so good. Each one of them is unique, has their different uh, type of gear on them, whether it be a pouch, a piece of armor, all their weapons, the colors, even the different head sculpts. It's simply great looking, perfect, magnificent. I don't know what else to say, but this is an awesome set. Uh, they run roughly 30 bucks a piece. So I got mine on AliExpress. I bought the four of them together. It came up to like 113 bucks or something like that with tax and well worth it i'm very satisfied with them and i can't wait to get more if you are a turtle fan these are an absolute must if you're just a collector who's been waiting for these in 118 scale this is your time go ahead and get them i think these will eventually sell out no matter who has them and the price is just going to skyrocket as most joy toy stuff does so be sure to check them out pick them up and they're well worth it uh, that's going to do it for this one um i hope you guys enjoyed what you saw if you did please like always Leave that giant thumbs up, subscribe, tickle that bell so you're notified when we post future videos. Be sure to follow us on social media. And until then, we will see you in the next one. Peace.